What's going on everybody? Have you ever found yourself in Adobe Illustrator working on a typography project and you wanted to get a little creative and transform certain letters individually? How did we do that in the past? Well, maybe you converted all of your letters into an outline and then you went up here to your direct selection tool and individually selected the shape that you converted your letter from and transformed it and that worked. But then if you wanted to go back and change that type, or if you wanted to change the spelling or use it as a template for a different thing, you couldn't because it was converted into a shape. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could go over to your type tool and just make an individual text box, essentially, for each letter, which takes forever. Uh, what we're going to use today, some people may not know about this, but it is super useful, is called the Touch Type Tool. Have it spelled out there for us. Um, if it doesn't show up in your type settings over here, you can either use shift T for the shortcut, or you can go up here to window and you can find where it says toolbars and go to advanced. And then you can go over here to your type tool and there is the touch type tool. I can go in here and choose an individual letter. I can rotate that letter if I want to. Um, I can resize the letter to make it be a little bit bigger or stretch it out or whatever you want to do. I can even move it around in this direction. So even though this is a creative typeface on here and kind of a fun one, you can always make things a little bit crazier if you so desire. Kind of play around with that on here. And it doesn't matter if it's all in one line or if it's in multiple lines. This one here is just one text object, which is pretty cool. And we can just rotate these around and put those into an area how we see fit. Now, the cool thing about this, once you're done, if you do want to go back and you want to retype, you could go back over to your type tool. And you can click in here. You can go back and change any of these letters. Pretty awesome. And there it is. That's the touch type tool. Let me know what you think in the comments if this is something that's useful. If you want to see more brief tutorials like these also, I appreciate you watching and hopefully we'll catch you on another video.